what's good y'all so i just got finished watching well i don't think i finished it but um i'm watching the max holloway and joe rogan podcast and they were saying some interesting things and it really got me thinking about you know what's going on with max going forward and if you recall if you are a person that consumes our content um this is something that i brought up before was the fact that i knew that max was going to have options and that this this was going to cause chaos going forward and so that's very exciting to me and so what i wanted to do today was uh do a little little exercise to look at his options and kind of rank what he has in front of him as far as options going forward and of course i have my lovely co-host my wife cj on with me to kind of help us uh, through this thing so i really want to get your point of view um but as we do this make sure you like share subscribe um all of those good things and then of course down in the comments let us know what your rankings are as we go along uh this this uh little exercise as we go through it so i didn't really talk to you through this beforehand which is probably the best thing to do um so are you ready are you have you now that i've given the intro do you kind of know where i'm going with this yeah okay i think i i'm excited because he has a lot of options and he does he's got some options that y'all probably didn't think about um but we'll go from obvious to a little bit wacky, but we'll see. So let me bring up this little screen here. All right. So we are going to rank Max's options. And we got two ways that we're going to do it. We're going to rank them on uh, the personal level of excitement that's going to go in this column. And then we're going to give it a pay-per-view star rating. So. What do we think the general general viewing public is going to value um, from a one to a five? So easy to understand. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So hopefully you're in here. Um, so we can rank these first and then we'll put a star to them. Unless you want to put the star in as you rank it. It's up to you. Yeah, we can do that. We can. Which one? You said like the personal one first. Yeah, your personal level okay. of excitement. All right. So, okay. what, what do you what do you have? Well, first of all, let's look at the options. So, we have the obvious one here, which is Ilya Taporia, um, and this one's for the featherweight belt. This fight is available right now. He can go right there and do this fight. Easy. The next one is Islam Makachev for the lightweight belt. This one is available if Makachev beats Poirier. And of course, the UFC has to be on board with it. But UFC, mm -hmm. uh, Max is kind of a big star now. I'd say he's teetering on superstar status. He's right there. Um, so he might be able to call for this fight and actually get it. Um, then we have Alexander Volkanovsky for the featherweight belt. A few things have to happen for this to happen. Um, Alexander Volkanovsky has to sit and wait for this first of all but Holloway would have to beat Taporia and kind of call for Alex to win to get this fight and Alex does have on paper three wins over Holloway so it would be kind of an easier fight to book but we've seen that fight three times this one's a big one and it's actually easier to get to than most people think of and it's the Conor McGregor fight this one would be for the BMF belt if Conor beats Michael Chandler this fight is easily on the table it would be a rematch and it's a rematch that a lot of people would want to see the hurdle would be what, what weight is this going to be at I'm going to skip this one I'm going to go to Dustin Poirier then this, this one is in the event that Poirier beats Makachev I know a lot of people think that that's a long shot, but it's a little bit closer than you think. Um, Dustin has a way of winning this fight. This one, interesting, out of all of these, this one is the one that I think could be for the lightweight and the BMF belt. You could put both belts on the line for this one. And then the last one, and this is the, the most long shot, but this one is very, very interesting to me. And I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. If... Sean O'Malley 
beats Marab uh, Dawalishwili and Max Holloway goes down and beats Ilya Taporia, then this is the fight that could actually could be on the table because we've heard uh, Sean O'Malley talk about going up um, to fight Ilya Taporia. Why not fight Max Holloway? It's a bigger fight monetarily. This one would be for the featherweight belt. All right, so we've talked through all the three or all the six um, different fights, different scenarios. What do you got for number one? Mm. Or do you want to go six to one? It's up to you. Yeah, let's go six to one. That might be easier. Okay. Um, your, your personal least, level. Okay. Your, your, the one that you would find the least exciting to you. All of these fights are pretty exciting for me. Um, I mean, Alex, one of my favorite fighters. Um, uh, but given that Max has already fought him three times, doesn't mean he can't beat Alex, but I think that's going to be on the low level. That's probably number six. Mm, 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 mm. Boy, how easily we betray the people that we care about. Come on. <laughs> mm. It's a shame. It's a shame. Okay. What um, else? Let's see. Sorry. I would say number five. I would mm -hmm. probably go. Probably go Connor. Interesting. Interesting. So why would you go Connor at number five? We haven't seen Connor in a long time. I'm excited mm. to see him. Yeah. Um, hey, if he beats Chandler, this would probably move up in the list. But I, it's one of those things like I don't really want to see him. I mean, we already saw him fall pretty badly with with, with Dustin. So. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. OK. OK. I'll take you at that. What do you got it for? Hmm. Now it starts to get a little a little hard. Um I'll probably this is available if Dustin beats Islam, but mm -hmm. Yeah, assume all these things actually occur. This fight is on the table. I'd probably go for Dustin? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Actually, 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 I'll probably go Islam four. Okay. So what made you make that switch? Nah, Islam. Oh, Islam, I bet. Because I I I feel like that outcome is inevitable. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think Islam is, he's pretty intelligent. I don't think he'll go in there and try to strike with Holloway. Mm -hmm. I think that's a um, probably not a smart thing to do. So yeah. that just means he's probably gonna try and grapple and just kind of lay on him. So, mm. mm -hmm. and then I think I actually think uh, Dustin would be three. Okay. I, I see a little bit more of a, a war happening there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'll probably go Ilya two. Mm -hmm. And Sean one. And that's an interesting one You're, because of that weight. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm assuming it's like one fifty five. Which one? With Sean. No, no, it'd be 145. These two got to be at 145. Mm, yeah, I guess I just, um, man, if I'm Holloway, I don't, I really don't want to go back down to that weight, but he would have to in order to fight Ilya. So, yeah, I'm kind of assuming these all would be at 155, except well, no, yeah, I they guess would, not. Half, yeah, they, like ha, yeah, Ilya, them, Alex, and yeah, yeah Sean, one, 145. What about mm -hmm. Connor? 
Connors actually might be a 170. It just depends. It depends. And the thing about Max right now is he's walking around in the 170s. So he wouldn't be cutting a lot of weight to get there, which is a good thing and a bad thing um, because it makes it more comfortable for Connor. And, you know, I don't know if you want to be giving him any, you know, doing him any favors into a fight. <laughs> so that one be, would be interesting to see which weight because, you know, Connor's going to come out and say that, you know, you know, he, he makes the decisions on this, but if I'm if I'm Max, you know, I'm pushing back on that. We're gonna fight at the weight that I'm the champ. We're gonna fight at the weight that I'm gonna fight at. Yeah. That's the way I would do it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. All right. So, I'm surprised I put Sean at the top. This is really surprising. It is surprising. It is surprising. But that's how it goes. That's how it goes around here. Um I'm interested what y'all think. Um, make sure y'all drop these, uh, what you think in the comments. But um, all right, let's go for the uh, the star rating. Um, and it's not necessarily what we think it's going to do for in, in pay-per-view, but like just overall, like I'll give you an example. Like most people would say, okay, Connor, five stars, easy. Well, people might get be, might be tired of Connor. You know, there's there's that possibility where, yes, it'll it'll sell to casuals, but casuals will be like, you know, I'm kind of tired of seeing him. So, um, it's more of a how not only the pay per view sales, but how you think it's going to influence. Um, you know, is this going to be something that shows on ESPN prominently? Is it going to be a big deal like that? Okay. So this is what, like, give one out of five? Yeah. Or whatever? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, mm, I'll probably say, like, Volk would probably be... Hmm. I'm going to say, so if, I'll be honest, I will be honest with you. I think Volk is, him fighting Volk again is like a three. I think um, so too. It just depends on how Volk would beat Taporia. Like if he knocks Taporia out, it might be a four. They're, well, no, both like this is only if Hollow Holloway would have to beat Taporia and Alex had to fight him. Like, oh, yeah. I see. Okay, okay. So you, it's I'm thinking it in the other way in my mind. All right. Ugh. Yeah, it's probably a three. Yeah. Also I'll depends. Also, also depends on where it's at too. True. But True. yeah, I, I three because we've seen this fight before, and it just doesn't have the 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 feel that it had before, and it's because of the two consecutive losses by knockout by, for for Alex. Yeah, I don't know if he still has that same draw that he had before. Yeah. What do you think about Connor, Max? Holloway versus Conor McGregor for the BMF belt. That's probably a four. I, I get what you're saying about people maybe not being too excited for him anymore, but I mm -hmm. think people are excited for him to come back. Um, and if he beats Chandler. In impressive fashion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Islam Makachev. <laughs> and I mean I'm thinking about what you okay. said a, a few minutes ago about you know his style and the way that he's he's suffocating he's not going he's not going to stay on the feet with Max Holloway um, that's just not something he's going to do like to me he's going to take him down try to look for submissions and in the, in the meantime you know get some ground and pound going like, I think that's like a super realistic take. Mm -hmm. But from a pay-per-view star rating, this is more like what, what does the general public think? And based off of Islam's last fight where he knocked um, Volkanovski out in the first round. Is it first round or second round? I can't um, remember. It was early. I know that. Yeah. And then however he would beat Dustin... 
Mm. I would probably give it a four still. Interesting. Just, just depending on how he would beat Dustin. Mm. Okay. I think th- I personally would have given it a two, but <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. I just think that I, while I think that Islam is an, an elite elite fighter, he's a reasonable fighter. He's going to fight. He's going to fight him. The you know go, use the the path of least resistance to get there. So, but what do you think about Dustin? If Dustin beats Islam Makachev and they have two belts on the line. Um, I would probably give Okay, so let's think about this. They're 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 about to fight like here in June or something. Yeah, I believe so. Yep, June. Yep. And Ilya is not trying to fight until what, like October? September. Or something like that. September, October. Mm. Okay. I'm at least trying to make a have a makeshift timeline in my head to see how mm-hmm. excited people will be around that time. Because you're probably looking I don't know, maybe January or February if, if something like that were to go down. Maybe. Maybe or or November. Or November. Because think like, like if if Max kind of waits it out and he doesn't fight in between now and November. If Max talks to the UFC and the UFC says, "Hey, listen, we know you have a couple of options. Why don't you wait until Dustin and Islam fight? If Dustin wins, we will give you a chance to get that uh, that win back against him, and it will be for the lightweight belt, and you can put the BMF belt up." But it'll be in November at Madison Square Garden. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Yeah. Of course, I agree. <laughs> Considering mm. I just made that compelling case for you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this next uh, one is hard because I'm like. I'm going to go four, but I want to hear what, what you think. Um, Well, four is actually what I went to because it's, there's the unknown um, there. Because if you look at all of these fights um, that are here, there's three of these fights are actually rematches. Um, for this particular fight, there is there is the level of unknown. And it's not just on Max's side of the fact that can Max go back down to 145 and reclaim what was his? Is it, the other one is is um, Ilya Taporia an all time great in the making? You know, if he beats Max, then he will have beaten the last two featherweight champs, um, and that's a big thing to have in your pocket as you try to grow your brand within the UFC. So. Um, it is a, a really important fight and it would be a big fight, but I can't compare it to, you know, Dustin Poirier against Max three for the lightweight and BMF belt. Like that's two belts on the line. That's never happened. So Dang, that's why I would I, give it a four. It, if it if it weren't Max, I'd probably give it a three. Yeah. Honestly, if this was say it was Ilya Taporia against Arnold Allen. <sighs> oh, that's a hot too. But, you know. Mm-hmm. And I love Arnold Allen. But, yeah, but. But I'm me and I watch this stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, who, you know, the person that doesn't watch this hardly at all. There's no telling what they think of Arnold Allen. They don't know him. So we got. Man, I might even just say three on that one. I'm, I'm just thinking of like pay per view star rating. This is like, are people actually going to want to watch this? Yeah. Like, hmm. So you thinking three? I kind of am. I kind of am. I mean, I don't know that. I don't know how many casuals are, are buying, you know, Ilya's pay-per-views. I'd love to see what kind of numbers he brought in for the 
Okay. I wish we could see him. I wish mm-hmm. the UFC would make these things available to us because, mm-hmm. you know, we're out here guessing. All right, so the last one, The Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley against Max Holloway for the featherweight belt. And this is this will be a champ champ fight. So Max would be going for I mean not Max, but Sean would be going for champ champ status against a legend. And you know it's gonna be a striking fight. Sean O'Malley has a longer reach than Max Holloway. Um they're the same height. That's a that's a scrap right there. That's a good fight. But where yeah. does it go on this? I, oh man. That's it's it's a five. I think um, you you talked about it before, I think on Forbes and who knows how reliable that is, but wasn't Sean like number two on their yeah. draw list? Yeah. Yeah. So then if Max is coming off of a win on uh, Teporia, somehow I feel like that's a better outcome for Max than it would be for Ilya Teporia beating mm-hmm. Max. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but if if Sean beats uh, Marab, I really don't think that's going to be that difficult for him to do. Other, other, well, I don't think it's far fetched to think that he could win that fight. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the likelihood is going to be Marab's going to do the same thing that Islam would do to Max. Yeah. But if he does win, if he beats him. Yeah, I think this is probably the best storyline here, mm-hmm. pay per view wise. Pay per view wise, and mm-hmm. you know, drawing casuals in. I would say yeah. this is the way that the UFC probably wants it to go. Pro- probably, probably. You, do you think that's like on the same level of three hundred in terms of excitement and probably revenue for them? I it would be it would be close it would be close I think people really discount um, how big Sean is Um, he's a bigger draw than people think and Mm -hmm. I think that that because of the circumstances that weigh in on that I think um, that would be a, a pretty massive fight I mean UFC 299 it's pretty dang good. And mm-hmm. this was bringing in, especially if Max beats Ilya, God, he's going to be a superstar if he beats Ilya. And it almost has nothing to do with Ilya Taporia. At all. Uh, somehow, his, his, I don't know. the continuing of his story. Yeah, and I think that's what it is. I, I, don't, I don't even think it's any shade on Ilya, really. I think It's not. It's not. Mm-hmm. But... It's just Max is at a point in his career, he's crossed a different threshold to where he is starting to become the belt himself. To where people are gonna start seeking to fight him. And he needs to put a couple of more a couple more wins together. And even if he does that, like his mid to late thirties are gonna be very, very profitable. Forget how young he is. It's, it's crazy. It's just that he's been here so long been in the UFC for 12 years yeah that's a long time Mm -hmm. yeah yeah Uh, so um, I can totally see it playing out this way but that's like stars have to align situation yeah yeah they do but if they do they've already aligned once if they can align again magic man magic (sighs) that was so bizarre that was not supposed to happen that's wild (laughs) So, uh, yeah, y'all, uh, let us know in the comments uh, what y'all think about that. Um, that was what we kind of threw together, but interested to see what y'all think. So, uh, for myself, for CJ, until next time. Peace.